You're listening to the Dibbly Dobbly Podcast. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to make sure you get the latest episodes of the podcast. Be sure to like and share our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. Since 1877, Australia and England have been battling it out against each other in Test cricket. Over that time, many players have had the honour of captaining their country in an Ashes series or in an Ashes test. There have been 42 captains to captain Australia in Ashes cricket and 55 captains to captain England in Ashes cricket. For the Dibbly Dobbly podcast historical series, we are looking back at all the players who have captained Australia and England in Ashes cricket. In this historical series episode, we are looking back at the Ashes captains who captained Australia in the 1970s. Ian Chappell epitomises what Australian cricket was all about. Tough, aggressive and never backing down from a fight. That tough, aggressive and attacking mindset was a big characteristic of Chappell, which he brought into his captaincy and instilled on the Australian team. He became Australia's 34th Test captain, taken over from Bill Laurie during the 1970-71 Ashes series. Chappelle's Ashes captaincy reign spanned from 1971 to 1975. In that time, he led Australia to two Ashes victories, in 1974-75 and in 1975, and drawn one, which was in 1972. In 16 tests, he won seven, lost four, and drawn five. His record in Ashes cricket was very good, scoring 2,138 runs at 41.11, with four centuries, highest score of 192 in 30 Ashes tests. During the 1970s, Australia was blossoming under Giappelli's captaincy. For Giappelli, his biggest achievement as captain was winning the 1974-75 Ashes series in Australia a team that had many of Australian cricket's greats, Dennis Lilly, Jeff Thompson, Rod Marsh, Greg Chappell, and Doug Walters. Giappelli led Australia to an Ashes victory and saw Australia reclaim the Ashes for the first time since 1968. After his playing days, Giappelli has become a commentator and writer on the game. After a tough start as captain, Giappelli grew and developed into the role as captain and contributed to Australia's success in the 1970s. Greg Chappell was an elegant and stylish batsman on the eye and is considered to be one of Australian cricket's great batsmen. Taken over from brother Ian as Australian captain, he became Australia's 35th Test captain. His Ashes captaincy reign spanned from 1977 to 1983. In that time, he led Australia to one Ashes series victory in 1982-83 and lost one series in 1977. In 10 tests, he won two, lost four and drawn four. His Ashes record was good, scoring 2,619 runs at 45.94 with 9 centuries in 35 Ashes tests from 1970 to 1983. Just like his test career, Greg Chappell produced some outstanding performances in Ashes cricket. In his first ever Ashes test in the 1970-71 Ashes series at the Wacker, he scored a test century on test debut, scoring 108 in Australia's first innings. In 1972, during the Ashes series in England, he scored 113 in the fifth test at the Oval, joining brother Ian, who scored 118, and becoming the first pair of brothers to score a test century in the same innings of a test match. Also in the same series in 1972, he scored 131 at Lords, his first century at the Homer Cricket. When he retired from test cricket in 1983, he was Australia's leading run scorer in test cricket. Graham Yallop took over the Australian Test captaincy in 1978 during the Kerry Packer World Series cricket years and became the 36th Australian Test captain. His Ashes captaincy reign spanned from 1978 to 1979. He led Australia in his one and only Ashes series in 1978-79, which resulted in a 5-1 series defeat. Yallop's only Ashes series as captain was a tough series in 1978-79, He led an Australian team that was very depleted in experience due to World Series cricket. Unfortunately for Yallop, the series didn't go to plan, as England gave Australia a good thrashing. Following the Ashes' defeat in 1978-79, Yallop captained only one more Test Series against Pakistan before he was relieved of the captaincy. Despite a series defeat as captain, Yallop's Ashes record was reasonable. He scored 709 runs at 28.36 with three centuries, with a highest score of 121. In our next historical series episode, we are looking back at the Ashes captains who captained Australia in the 1980s.